Council General Gall and all the other distinguished speakers and ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be part of this celebration for three reasons. To begin with, I am also an immigrant from China many years ago. So I feel a special kinship with the hundreds of thousands who began their American experience on this island. What's more, I had once served on the board of the immigration station. So it's quite gratifying to be part of this living monument to Asian American history. Finally, I'm also a senior advisor to American President Line, APL, known today. We are the shipping company that transported more Chinese immigrants to San Francisco than any other carrier. So on behalf of my company's chairman, Mr. Chen Wai Kun, our CEO, Ron Widows, and our president, John Bo, we are honored to sponsor today's commemorative event. I would also like to mention Mike Zampa, who is somewhere here. He is APL's director of corporate affairs, and he is really responsible for bringing APL together with Angel Island once again. APL began during the California Gold Rush as the Pacific Mail Steamship Company. In 1867, we created the first Trans-Pacific Ocean Service between Asia and the United States. We stopped the passenger service in 1970. But until that time, thousands and thousands of Chinese immigrants sailed on our ships to America. Between 1910 and 1940, those travelers were discharged right here in San Francisco Bay and transported to this spot. But our connection to Angel Island dates back to the time before the immigration station was even built. In fact, before there was an immigration station, we were the first checkpoint for immigrants from Asia. Originally, they were processed into the country and sometimes quarantined on one of our old decommissioned Pacific Mail ocean carrot going sea whaler. It was named, quite appropriately, the China. In 1898, at our old Pacific Mail dock on Pier 40, a permanent facility was established to screen all the arriving immigrants. It remained in operation till January 1910, the day that the immigration station opened. The facility was called the detention shed. It was old, cramped, and ill-suited for processing and too often detaining newly arrived immigrants. It was the inadequacy of this shed that led directly to the construction of the immigration station. The, the story of Chinese immigration to America is a complex one. It was referred to by our Consul General from China. It was full of pathos, prejudice, and perseverance. The story is told quietly and elegantly in this place and carefully carved on the walls in the buildings you've seen. My company, for better and perhaps sometimes for worse, is part of this story. I'm grateful today that APL has chosen to help bring it to life. So congratulations to everyone who has been part of this remarkable tribute to the courage of the human spirit. Thank you.